Hi, I'm Ted Schumann, founder and CEO of Planet One in Scottsdale, Arizona. I sit here today with Randy Jeter, founder and CEO of Rapid Scale. Welcome, Randy. Thank you, Ted. We are here to discuss our partnership with Rapid Scale and their inclusion in our 2017 Preferred Provider Program today. And we're sitting here in our Scottsdale offices at what is no doubt become a very popular location in the office, and that is here at the bar. Welcome. Thank you very much, Ted. I appreciate it. As Planet One continues to evolve, and part of that evolution as we move into the cloud and IT space is bringing on new vendors. And it, it really was a natural fit to include rapid scale. The demand from the channel was very high. The product set really fits well with the partners around the country. And I, I know those that are watching today, Randy, why don't you tell us a little bit about rapid scale? Yeah, Ted, thank you. Um, rapid scale was, to me, uh, this vision of how do you standardize IT for the mid-market mid lower enterprise um, and the SMB space? How do you bring the best talent to position your business, being a small, medium business, to get the best talent, get the best platform, and get the best delivery systems that can deliver IT to you, being the business, the client? I mean, the client real, really, it's about their experience. And uh, you know, I always look back and say, you know, why have so many companies been successful? It's because they've standardized, they've automated, and they've little delivered a great service in IT. From telecom and the, and the maturation of voice over IP to hosted, that, that relationship, that maturity of those businesses provides a great experience for the mid-market and down clients. And even the enterprise is starting to buy into it. So you know, when I started to see in 2008 a trend towards managed IT, this experience that you needed to you needed to ultimately provide a client. Um, I kind of related it to the service provider business that I was a part of in Paytech Communications. Um, I had a great experience. I was a great CEO I learned a lot from. Um, so as I started to see that trend, I said I want to be on the front end of that trend. So for many people today, they, they probably haven't heard of rapid scale before. Talk to us at a high level at least what the demand for the product is and what it is for the agent that's listening out there today. Yeah, one of the core differentiators was owning our own platform. We knew that we had to build a global application platform on the best technology and deliver it to that, you know, 2,000 employee down business. 2,000 employees and above, a lot of times they have IT teams, but we have a platform that they can use too as well. And so if it's a hybrid or if it's, a, if it's an IT managed cloud on our platform, or if it's a kind of a hybrid relationship, or if it's us delivering 100%, ultimately it's about the client experience. So we let the clients choose and the partners are walking us in. Your phone's been ringing because we've done a great job in the channel. And one of the biggest trends right now is cloud. And so the natural progression to cloud, us being in, in the channel for seven plus years and really going through you know, challenges and growth and trying different systems has put us in a position to be extremely successful as a partner of Planet One. I couldn't be happy to be sitting here with you. Well, thank you. So you, you've talked a lot about the the customer experience. Let's, let's talk a little bit uh, for a moment on the partner experience. So if I'm the partner and I'm sitting there watching right now, talk to the partners about how to engage and what kind of resources that they have available through this partnership with Planet One and your team. Yeah. When it comes down to the partners, what do they want? They want a solid commission. They want somebody who cares and they're not gonna feel is gonna take their commission, not try to support them and pull the revenue off. We don't have direct sales. So mm -hmm. what we care about is a partner experience in the relationship that we're trying to earn and we want to extend. And very rarely, uh, we actually implemented a, a team called the partner experience team. Every single, opportunity gets a thank you for an, a thank you email for the opportunity. Every single win gets a thank you email or a call depending on the size of it. For some bigger wins, we even send gifts for some clients. I mean, you have, you have a, a partner that they brought us a win and we got them a couple iPads because it was a huge win. And we sent them a couple iPads and said, thank you for the business. Because what, what differentiates rapid skills when you grow up in the channel and you've been on all three sides, which I've been on all three sides and you understand the value of the business being brought to yours. So let's talk about resources. Um, you have an office in Orange County. Yep. Uh, I think we're maybe a three iron away from each other. For you, maybe, you know, a driver. <laughs> <laughs> Me, maybe a three iron. No, Randy's a big hitter. And so our teams are close. You have an office in Irvine, very close to our office uh, in Orange County as well. But uh, most of the partners who are listening to this around the country today, 
uh, might not know what kind of resources and how to engage. So walk us through what that looks like with rapid scale. Yeah, it's something we're proud of, Ted. I mean, when I look at rapid scale, the company today, you know, we just opened an office in Raleigh. Um, we've had we had cl close to five people in that office now and some additional hires slated. Um, we have Irvine, which is our corporate headquarters. We yep. just moved into a new corporate headquarters. Couldn't be more proud of it. We have a lot of partners that fly in to see our facilities uh, as well. And then uh, we have an office in Dallas. Let's talk about a win. How about, uh, you know, the fun stuff? Uh, we had a partner in upstate New York. Uh, talk to us about that win and what that looked like. This is important, guys. So th this was our first lob from a partner who had never sold their first deal, correct? Yep. For rapid scale. So walk us through that. What that look like? It was an amazing experience. I mean, you have a you have a, a telecom expert who's one of the top consultants probably in the United States going toward the the hired enterprise class consulting level. Um, you have a team behind him that is that's that's solid. And um, the guy hired out of uh, upstate New York calls him out of the blue. So they start chatting, chatting about you know rapid scale. Next thing you know, it leads into, hey, I got this company and they're having a bunch of issues. Their existing platforms falling apart. They want to look to get out of their contract. You know, they have some challenges and they'd like to spend some time and meet with us. And so what we did is we flew in one of our top solutions engineers. So, uh, and then our, our channel manager out of the uh, East Coast. And then we walked into the meeting and we literally listened. What are your pain points? What are you looking for? The partner was analyzing the entire scenario like, wow, this is pretty amazing, these questions. So much of understanding the pain points for a client are actually listening to what they ultimately want the experience to be. So that led to three more meetings. So as we're going in each time, we're going from basic engagement to more advanced solutions design, to demoing an environment, and to ultimately putting together, you know, if you really look at the size of deal, um, it was $52,000 a month. It was closed in less than 45 days. It's incredible. First deal that, that, that the agent had closed. Um, and had not sold for your company or a similar service, even of a all. competitor. Yeah, and, and what really what, what the agent really felt was like we embraced the client and listened to their need and came up with a solution. And right now we're go finishing up the implementation that closed um, last kind of October, November. I think, didn't you also fund, there was some costs associated yeah. with making a move, wasn't there, without getting into specifics about the client, but. It, this was beyond just making a demo and a presentation. There was, this was, you guys really kind of catapulted into this account yeah. and even gave them some financial relief as incentive to make that transition. Yeah, so what we did is we gave them uh, a couple months free of service. We mapped that into the back end of their contract because they needed to get out of their existing contract. Needless to say, they were saving a lot of money by transitioning to our platform too as well. So they had significant savings. They had three or four months that they wanted to have the service up, but didn't want to pay for it with us. So we moved that to the back end of the agreement. They couldn't have been happier because we helped them find additional reasons to actually walk away and provide the, bring us a service. All right, so a $50,000 account, that's a monster win. Yep. I mean, I think everybody listening, those are really, really terrific wins. But if I'm watching this back there today, I'm going, I, I, don't, I don't have $50,000 accounts. I'm just a partner working out of my house or a small office. Give us an example of really what's in your wheelhouse. And, and I mean, for the average partner out there listening today, he's trying to think, you know, how does rapid scale fit in with my client base? So walk us through what that profile looks like for the average partner watching today. Yeah, so Ted, the, the profile looks from a 15 to person legal business that's spending $4,000 a month with a managed service provider. And the managed service provider doesn't have a cloud platform. We work with a lot of managed service providers. We work with a lot of ours, so I don't want any of our relationships or partners that feel like we want to take their business. We have a business model to support it, and we have a business model to have the business brought to us on one of our platforms and supported by an MSP or VAR. And so we have a very strong relationship with that community. But in most cases, somebody's failing, either internal with a small business or an external partner. And so how do we walk into that relationship? Quite honest, it's, it's not a lot of tech conversation. It's about how can you keep my business up? How can we run 
and how can you run and deliver the applications and be better than I get it? Oh, by the way, I only have it running out of my facility. So what if I want to work remotely? I can't access my data. And the world of bring your own device is changing the way people work. They want to work from different places, from a tablet to a phone to seeing their applications. Ultimately, it's about access to their applications and then redundancy. Guys, Randy, 15-year uh, partnership, friendship here, really, uh my pleasure to have you here to Scottsdale and thank you for your support and everything thank that you do on behalf of all our partners around the country at Planet One. Thank you very much. I appreciate being here.